Is your bike leaking oil from the front sprocket area? Well, chances are it's a KTM. Happens to them all. Before you go and replace the seal, check this out because the solution is probably simpler than you think. I've covered this topic before in two other videos. I just wanted to make this info a bit easier to find. So you've got an oil leak. Now you might be thinking you need to replace the countershaft seal. That is a possibility if it's been damaged, but it's not where I would start. There's three things that all work together here. You've got the seal, you've got the O-ring behind that seal, and you've got the dome washer that just keeps pressure on the whole assembly. Let me tell you about my brother's bike that was leaking. He replaced the seal, but fitted the old O-ring because the shop didn't have a new one. As soon as he took off and the bike sort of warmed up a bit, it just started leaking again. They had a closer look at the O-ring and it was flat and it wasn't actually doing its job. Sourced a new O-ring, that solved the problem in the short term, but after another couple of thousand kilometers, started to leak again. This time, he was back at home, had access to you know, KDM shop, all the right parts, so he replaced the dome washer. Didn't touch the seal again, didn't touch the O-ring, just replaced that washer. Problem solved, stopped leaking. So what's going on? Now they lose their springiness over time, and when you lose that pressure on the sprocket and the collar behind that, it allows the oil to seep past the o-ring and you can see that loss of springiness here here's two oem washers the one on the left brand new one on the right it's had about 5,000 kilometers of use and you can clearly see that the new one sits higher than the old one you can just get a new oem washer but there is a better option available and that's from dirt tricks they've got these replacement washers they're larger, they're taller, and they use stronger steel that won't lose its springiness. Now, if your bike's done a few thousand miles, you could probably do with a new washer anyway, so you may as well start with that and see if the leak stops. If not, the seal and the o-ring are dead easy to replace. You just pop that seal out with a screwdriver. The o-ring sits in behind that, you just pick that out, slide the new o-ring over the shaft, just gently tap that seal back into place, and you're done. Now, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to show you exactly how to do it, but it's not difficult. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful information. See you in the next video. Bye for now.